the carbonated bubble clay mask. <clears throat> this is really fun. I've already done it once before, but I was going to show you really quickly. I mean, one note to have is when you take this off, you want to do all of your application and everything pretty quickly because this will start to bubble because it is a bubble mask. So, you just want to apply it. It comes with the applicator that I'm using. You can also use your fingers. I did this with a, <clears throat> a friend of mine. And since we're both doing it quickly, I used my fingers and it worked well. This mask is very cooling. It's much like a men mask. So what do you do is you apply it. You can see right here, we're starting to get a little white. That's how quickly it actually starts activating <clears throat> and working. So you do need to be quick with it, in my opinion anyway. Because it start whenever you retouch that area, it, you can feel here like the sizzle, I guess. Well, not sizzle, I mean that sounds like you're on fire, but <laughs> You can hear like the foaming action, I guess you would say. Your face will not be sizzling. I'm sorry. It's very cooling. It'll be a little cold. So you just want to apply it. Of course, don't get it in your eyes. After you get it applied, you want to wait five minutes. See? Especially on this side already. Oh, remember what I said about putting the lid on? You should really do that because it, it will start from it. So the lid does still back down. Um, I'll just put this lid on and wash my brush before I, and put it back in there after I'm done with this. But there you go. You can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on the video. It sounds very similar to a box of Rice Krispies. Uh, a little less loud, you know, it's a little more subtle than that. But you can hear the um, foaming action. My box, everything is written in Chinese. And unfortunately, I do not speak Chinese. So I did look up all these directions online with, you know, on the Amazon listing. But as I said, I have done this mask before. It's a lot. It's a lot of fun, and it, it really did work well. Felt like it pulled out a lot of impurities, and it was extremely gentle on my face. So as you can see, it continues to foam. It'll get thicker. You can still hear it working. So after five minutes, I'll show you what happens. Okay, so here I'm back. It has been five minutes, and you can see. <laughs> Then my face is quite foamy. And I will just kind of show you some of the depth. Here you can see. And so at this point, what you're supposed to do is rub it in. And as you can see, it kind of becomes smooth again, like a mask, like a normal mud mask, I guess. Oops, you should not get it in your eye, just so you know. It didn't burn or anything, but it could. I'm making a lovely mess. And see, it gets really creamy. So from the directions that I was able to read online, since again, I cannot read Chinese or this could even be Japanese I'm really not sure but I can't read that so you're just gonna rub it in 
and I would get in really good to any areas that you're more prone to blackheads, whiteheads, breakouts, whatever. So I really want to dig into my nose area. And I like to leave it on until it gets a little, that pasty white um, glaze comes back. So about a minute to two minutes. And then you just rinse it off with cold water and a rag and you are refreshed. And I have to wash my fingers off. Sorry. So yes, I've used this mask a few times and I really like it. And it's off. Um, just so you know, you, you are most likely going to need a damp rag because it is pretty thick and you'll want to make sure you can get, you know, everything completely off. So there you go.